Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian and today we are on a bumper edition of My Week in Books. So I'm going to be telling you what I've been reading over the last two weeks because I missed last week's. Um, I was in fact on holiday. I was seeing family. Um, my parents were seeing my daughter for the first time in a ridiculously long time thanks to Covid. So um, yeah, I actually did very little reading. So I say a bumper edition. I've actually read a lot less over these two weeks than I have been in previous weeks. So um, yeah, a very small bumper edition of my week in books. So let's jump into some of the things that I have finished from the last time um, I checked in with you guys. So the first one of these is going to be Summer Night by Jim Butcher. This is book four of the Dresden Files. As I said uh, last, last time I spoke to you guys, I was just starting my re-listen of Summer Night. I do really like this book. Interestingly, I don't think I like it quite as much as I do Grave Peril. Um, I know for a lot of people, Summer Night is where they really love the series, like Grave Peril gets it started, and then Summer Night is where people really love it. Um, I actually don't love it as much as I do Grave Peril, but I do think it is still a quality um, entry into the series. I think it's very good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it like a solid four and a half stars. As a lot of you know, this is uh, my, I don't know, fifth, sixth re reread or re-listen to the Dresden Files. So I know what I'm in for. I know what I'm getting. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's great fun. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant. I love some of our recurring characters. We start to get coming back. I am super hyped to get into Death Masks, which is actually one of sort of a sleeper pick for me in Dresden Files. I think it is incredibly good and underrated in the Dresden Files. Um, fan base so I'm very interested and excited to get to that when I eventually do but yeah that was Summer Night um, and hopefully on the channel soon I'm going to be ranking all the Dresden Files books so you can see where I stand early on in this reread um, with where I think things are going to settle once I finish this reread um, we can revisit that in a few months when I finish the reread and see how things have changed where people have moved to um, where books have moved to so we'll see how that goes once I finished Summer Night, I moved on to another audiobook. I picked up book three of the Emperor series by Connor Gordon. This is Field of Swords. Um, I'm about 50% of the way through that currently. I am really enjoying it. I think it carries on um, from book one and two very well. I like how the characters are developing over the years, how we see how they change um, and how they um, grow. And I think that's really interesting. Um, I would absolutely recommend this series to people who maybe don't read much historical fiction. I've read very little historical fiction in my life. I've read a lot more fantasy. Um, as I said with the first book here, this very much reminds me of the writing style of someone like John Gwynne, who I know has um, taken a lot of influence from historical fiction. So that does really make sense, but big fan of this series so far. I can see this being a solid four upward stars. I think it'll be at least four stars. Um, but we'll see exactly where that ends up as I get through it. I should be finishing that early into this week as I'm back at work, so I'll have a lot more listening time um, for the audiobooks. So for my physical reading, I have finished A Memory Called Empire by Arcadie Di Martin. I loved this at the end just as much as I had as I was going through it. I think I, when I spoke to you last, we're about 40% of the way through. I love this book a lot. I think it was brilliant. I think it's very well done. Um, it was a little slow moving at the start, but I really enjoy the world, like the universe we get given. Um, I enjoy how um, things are starting to open up towards the end of the book as well. So we get to see a little bit more of what's going on. And I think the character development is really, really good. Um, so yeah, three seagrass I really like, I like my heat. I think it's a yeah, good set of characters. Um, and I really enjoyed how Arcady Martin ended this book um, and set up the sequel. Um, and on that note, and that's immediately what I picked up when I finished um, A Memory Called Empire. I was diddling over what to pick up. I almost picked up Guards Guards, which is on my list to get to very soon, I promise. But I actually picked up A Desolation Called Peace. I was watching a few of the um, streams from the guys over at 17th Shard. Some of them more chill streams where they're not talking about anything specifically, they're just chatting. And I know a few guys over there have read both A Memory Called Empire and A Desolation Called Peace and really liked it. So I thought, right, let's just jump straight in. Like, let's jump straight in, continue on the series. I'm about 30% of the way through A Desolation Called Peace. It is very different. We've got a very sort of perspective shift. We get different POVs, which I find interesting. There's a very different setting, um, lots of different things going on in the world. But I actually really like it. I like that. I like how it's grown and developed. 
and I'm hoping that by the end of this book I'm going to love it just as much as I did the first one. And unfortunately that's basically where I'm at. It's been two weeks where I've read very little unfortunately. Um, it has been because I've been having lots of fun, seeing lots of family which has been great. I've been melting over here in the UK as we have got a proper tropical heat wave going on. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been reading this last couple of weeks. Hopefully when I check in with you next week, I'll have finished off um, A Desolation Called Peace um, and I should be plying back on with my audio books, hopefully getting back to the Dresden Files, which I I would listen to all, all day, every day if I could. I love the Dresden Files. I would blast through the series and then go back to Stormfront if, if I didn't have other things I wanted to read or listen to. Um, so yeah, you know how I feel about that. So as well as that very short um, update of what I've been reading and what I finished, uh, I also just want to let you know that I was on Book Jeopardy over on Alan's channel at the Library of Alexandria um, this past week. So do go check that out. I imagine if you're subscribed to my channel, you know Alan very well um, and you've, you're probably following his channel and seeing his updates. But do go have a look at that. It was loads of fun with Larry from My House Opinions and Klaus from The Contradictorian. Great fun really enjoyed it so hopefully guys go check that out if you enjoy trivia if you enjoy bookish trivia in particular um and yeah thank you so much alan for having me thank you for um, taking so much time to write the questions and to do it so well um all of us here at booktube really appreciate you um you're a wonderful guy and yeah just thank you so much um so hopefully next week i'll give you an update on a desolation called peace I'll give you an update on um, A Field of Swords and then whatever else I get to. Um, I don't know what I'll be physically reading, um, but for the audiobook, I imagine I'll be jumping back into the Dresden Files. Thanks so much for sticking with me, guys. I know this has been a short one, um, but hopefully I'll see you again next week. Keep your eye out for a Should I Read of a series coming later this week, as well as that Dresden Files tier ranking video. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to click like click subscribe if you want to know more of my content and see more of it and hopefully I will see you guys again soon.